batteries batteries are the galvanic cells which are obtained when two different electrodes are coupled together generally the term battery is used for the combination of cells of the same type a practical battery should possess the following characteristics it should be light in weight compact and should give a constant voltage for external circuit the practical commercial batteries are of two types one primary batteries two secondary batteries primary batteries are those batteries which possess the following characteristics they produce the electricity by the process of redox chemical reaction which cannot be reversed as a result such type of cells become dead over a period of time they cannot be recharged reused typical examples are daniel cell or dry cell dry cell is a compact form of lecklan cell it contains an outer cylinder made up of zinc which acts as an anode and is lined inside by porous insulating paper the cathode is the carbon rod having brass cap the space between the cathode and anode is filled with a mixture of mno2 and thick paste of ammonium chloride nh4cl zinc chloride zncl2 and charcoal this porous paper lining prevents the direct contact between the solution and zinc wall the cell is sealed from the top with the help of pitch or wax the reaction during the discharge are as follows at anode zn s gives zn2 plus plus 2 electrons zn2 plus ions will migrate towards the carbon electrode cathode at cathode mno2 plus nh4 plus plus e minus give mno oh plus nh3 at cathode reaction manganese is reduced from plus 4 stage to plus 3 stage the ammonia molecule formed at cathode will react with zn2 plus ion coming from anode to form a complex ion the complication of zn2 plus ion with nh3 molecule lowers the concentration of free zn2 plus and results in increase in voltage of a cell which is around 1.5 v such cells do not have a long range of life this is because nh4cl paste is acidic in nature and it continues to corrode the zinc container even when not in use secondary battery these are batteries which which can be recharged or reused they are also called repeated action cells storage cells or accumulators that's why they can be used again and again over a long period of time here electrical energy is stored as a chemical energy for example lead storage batteries lead storage batteries are used in automobiles mainly for example car buses etc 
a 12 volt battery is generally used which contains 6 cells of production 2V each. Every cell consists of lead as an anode and grid of lead packed with lead oxide as the cathode. These electrodes are arranged alternatively, separated by thin wooden or glass fiber sheet. To increase the output current, the cells are connected in parallel, anode to anode and cathode to cathode. Electrode reaction during discharging are as follows. At anode, Pb solid plus SO4 2 minus aqueous gives PbSO4 solid plus 2E minus at cathode PbO2 solid plus SO4 2 minus aqueous plus 4H plus aqueous plus 2 electrons give PbSO4 solid plus H2O liquid. During charging the same cell, the reaction inside the cell will be reversed and PbSO4 on anode and cathode will get converted into Pb and PbO2 respectively.